Hey hello what's up guys how are you doing so today i'm going to talk about one commit member plugin which i have made a video i think almost four years back which has almost like 100k plus views so if you want to see that again so please click on the top right handed side suggestion video or else i'm providing the link in the description as well so now i just want to install and activate the ultimate member plugin to my website ticketcrazy.com so as you see that there are no membership or else uh, custom registration pages for my website so i just want to use ultimate member plugin again because i have changed the host and unfortunately i have lost all my data so that's why i'm just creating again so for this one for this website i just wanted to have the ultimate member plugin so for that one i just need to go to the admin dashboard so let me go to the admin dashboard so once i log into the admin dashboard i can see the plugins what i have installed so let me check that so you, you can go to the plugins and you can just check the installed plugins if you see here i did not install that adding the new plugin by clicking just add new and i'm searching for ultimate mover so this one is the ultimate member latest version so i'm installing this one if you want more details you can just click on this and you'll get all the description about the ultimate member plugin so this is the number one user profile and membership plugin for wordpress the plugin makes it a breeze for users to sign up and become members for your website of your website okay so i just tested the buddy press yesterday so i didn't like buddy press as much as this ultimate member plugin that's why i just came here again and i'm activating this now it is saying ultimate member needs to create several pages user profiles account registration login passwords reset logout member directory to function correctly so let me go to the create pages let me create all the pages to function correctly otherwise we need to do customization a lot now for the user page so i am using the default user page for the login page login page for registration page register page members page members logout page logout account page account and password reset page is password reset and i am just saving the default options if you want to change anything you can just go here and change these things so like profile permalink base if you want to use the username or else first name last name with dot with hyphen with plus or use ready i want a strong password this way i'm selecting required strong password as is i can use the gravitas so i'm using the mystery man gravitar yeah now i'm changing let's say i'm saving the changes now i'm going to account so i'm just keeping as it is it uploads yes i'm keeping as it is yeah now let me go to the pages tab and see whether those pages are created or not yes so account um account um is nothing but ultimate member and all the um account related um pages are created here okay fine now i can go to the menus option so first i can go to my website so nothing is happened so i need to add these pages to my menu so you can go to menus from the appearance tab i just clicked on menu so for, uh, for the primary navigation i wanted to add so i'm just adding all the um 
pages. Yes, add to menu. Now it is adding. Now the pages are added to my menu. So I'm just rearranging these things quickly. So login for log dot users log dot for login users register for log dot users password reset I'm just removing from the menu members for logged in users users for logged in users I just changed the primary menu so let me check whether it is reflected in my website or not so you can rearrange these things I'll use the incognito one to register some users from here so I'm just clicking on the register here Mr. MKC Tech. I'm just giving the email address and password. And I'm clicking on register. Now it is saying the email address is already linked to an existing account. So I need to change this one. I'm giving the other email ID. Yes, now it has successfully created. Now I can my image I can give the cover photo and uh, it is saying your profile is looking a little empty why not add some information nothing but your details so you can give about yourself blah 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 so it is very simple and you can see your user details nothing but the user one you can see the members who are there on this website these are the people who are the members of tech crazy and you can see your account details so okay see take on all the details and if you want to change the password you can change the password and let me go to the members and there if you want to check out the ticket crazy profile you can go here and you can just see the comments by ticket crazy and you can just see the post made by ticket crazy and you can see about him now i think you understood how we can use ultimate member plugin for registration and and we can use the login logout options for the users and we can see the members of the website by using the ultimate member plugin now there are some extensions given by ultimate member plugin so these are the extensions you can see them in ultimatemember.com website so most of them are paid versions paid extensions i can say but I found only four extensions are free. So these are the free extensions. Nothing but if you want to see the online users, then you can use this section extension. So the members who are online at present, you can get those details. Whereas if you want to 
use the forum WP then you can use this extension if you want to recapture feature on your website for your registration and login forms then you can use this extension or else if you want to add a terms and conditions for your registration page then you can use this extension so other than these four remaining all are paid versions so let me open view commerce for example so if we click on the view pricing so it is saying for single set it is forty dollars and up to five sites it is saying fifty dollars up to 20 sites it is saying 90 dollars so similarly there are like prices for the remaining extensions so if you want to buy that if you want to purchase that you can do if you want to do some social media logins for your website then you can buy this purchase this extension social login this extension will allow login via facebook twitter Google Plus, LinkedIn, Instagram. If you want to use the free extensions, I will recommend these four. Based on your requirement, maybe you can purchase these paid extensions. I just want to use the online users uh, for my website. You can just search this from your admin dashboard. So you can just go to plugins add new and I am searching with the element member online users now I got this one install now and it is installed I am activating this so if you want more details you can just read here this ultimate member extension will allow you to display online users anywhere with the short code or a sidebar widget. Now let me check whether it is installed or not, activated or not. Yeah, now it is activated. Now let me go to the widgets. I can simply search with ultimate member see if you see here it is saying show your online users so you can just drag this one and just keep wherever you want on your sidebar so now we will see this that is role specific you can mention and who is online you can just give that you can just change that online users save just go here and just refresh the website so as KC Tech I logged in I'm just getting the online users as KC Tech and Take It Crazy is on, on, online so KC Tech is me and Take It Crazy is the admin so this is the admin so he logged in and this is the user KC Tech he logged in and this is the status it is showing I'm on online and I just clicked on Take It Crazy and it is showing the status online here so it's simple very easy to get registration page logout login page logout feature get the online users so simple very simple if you want a simple custom registration page login page logout page so basically like membership website it is a very simple very easy by using this ultimate member plugin so i'm just logging out let me check what are the other options we have and here you can see who are online now so only ticket crazy is online and now I'm just clicking on the login there is forget your password so if you forget your password then you can just click on this and you can just give your email ID and it will just go to your email ID and you can just reset your password through that so it is very simple by using ultimate member plugin so I can use 
some other extensions i'll show that in next video and i will come up with more videos to help the people who are blogging or else who are trying to do videos on youtube please subscribe to this channel if you really like this video and if you feel that the information is useful please like this share this and please subscribe to my channel thank you thank you so much if you like this video please like share comment this video please don't forget to subscribe our channel hit the bell icon to get more interesting updates